the deeper questions. I think that there's a feeling of uh, displacement. Over in 1997, the Hong Kong economy was roughly one third of the size of the Chinese economy. Today, it is less than 3% of the size of the Chinese economy. In other words, there's been an extraordinary shift in the center of gravity away from Hong Kong towards China. And it is stark, actually, for Hong Kong because perhaps the best exemplar of this transformation in China is just over the border in Shenzhen, which in 1978 was just a fishing village. And Hong Kong was much richer and riding high and all the rest of it. And today, it's complete role reversal. Shenzhen is perhaps the most remarkable city in the world. In some ways, the most advanced city in the world. And what's happened to Hong Kong? I would suggest that by and long, large, the difficulty is that Hong Kong is relatively stuck. It did have a role, but it feels in some many senses as if it's lost that role. So I think that if you want to understand the mentality of Hong Kong people at the moment, it is, you've got to take into account all these kind of considerations. They, they feel, you know, they're angry, they're frustrated, uh, don't know where they're going. You've got a Hong Kong economy which is relatively stagnant, which has been unable to reinvent itself, and for certain sections of the population, conditions have got worse. They, you know, young people cannot ever afford or vast majority can never afford to have property. So they feel embittered by this, and they feel that there isn't much of a future in that situation. If you think about China, what, what has transformed China over the last 40 years? Reform and opening up. That is the reason that China's been transformed. A remarkable, a, a remarkable vision, uh, starting with Deng Xiaoping, um, with a constantly rolling process. You know, one of the wonderful things I think about reform and opening up is there's no end point. It, the, the, it, keeps, it, keep, it, keep, it keeps developing. And for Hong Kong? Well, frankly, I don't know what the reform strategy is in relationship to Hong Kong. I don't really think there is one in the same way that there has been in China. But I think the most important single question for the Hong Kong government is a, is a strategy of transformation of the socio-economic conditions in Hong Kong to give the people a sense of the future.